Mm -hmm. not... Yeah, a clean piece of paper would probably be the best. But just, just like a regular mic, you just bring it in there and touch it off. Put some pressure to it. Let it use. So what I do is you bring that meter up there to zero. Mm -hmm. It might move a little bit if you put some pressure on it and then release for super accurate reasons. And then once that's set at zero, then you reset this down here. So zero you're adjusting the, the right, veneer right, zero against the zero. Yeah. And then now your machine's basically set. Okay. From ready, ready for measurement. Okay. And then you can back it off, move it down for length standards like this mm -hmm. to check different sizes. Or if you wanted to go inside one inch, then you just back it off and read it like a mic. All right, you want to read this one right here first? Yeah, that'd be great. So six and a half. Out to six. Lock this one down first, because that's your one of your stocks that has a screw thread in there, and then you leave this one loose so that one can move, because mm -hmm. that's where your optical is at. Get your crosshairs in there. Get the line in between the two lines that are already on that, lock it down, and then recheck. Make sure it didn't move. You're good. This one's six and a half inches, so back this up a half an inch. Or at least. Well, this one's ground down flat. This one's radius. So it's got one flat side and the other one's radius? Right. That one, Sterrett never made a head. Exactly <laughs> one side, so obviously somebody messed with it. Yeah. I'm sorry, because that's really good. Wiggle it in there. Well, actually, somebody wants to bounce for somebody after the manufacturer. Guys are moving all over. Might have a nick in this thing. Pretty sure there's a nick in the thing. Oh, whatever, and that's pretty good right there. So we can take it. There's your nine. So you got four nine nine, and then you're under two tenths and eighty millionths. What is this thing at? Let's see, for thousands. Four nine. I think that might be actually labeled wrong. It's possible. It's not supposed to be 498. Mm -mm. It could, you know what? Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It's 498. Because we're at 9. I got 499, and then we're under, so you got to go under 9. So it'd be 8, and then that should. It'd almost be 7. So that's pretty close. Nine, that's only 40 nine. millionths off just moved a lot. This thing's got a huge nick in it. It's so hard to get this in there. At what point do you realize the measurement? What, Where is that? It's Well, when you don't have nicks, it's real easy. <laughs> yeah. This one's got a serious nick in it. And that is not flat. You could stone it, make it easier on yourself. You got a little stone. Yeah. Just hone it out and get that burr out of there, because I'm sure there's more than one. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Well, we verified that size right there, 4987. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be 40 million soft, but that's not that bad. All right, let's go to that 12. Check out that guy.
Are you doing that measurement based on the meter where that yeah. needle comes up to? Right, here I'll show you real quick. Now if we were at 12 inches, that would be 12 inches right there and when that came up that would be exactly 12. Mm -hmm. Now if we were at 12 here, which is just a set of 12 inches, and it mm -hmm. came down to 3, it would be 3 tenths under 12. So it would be 11.997. That's how that reads out. Okay. If it was over on 3, then it would be 12 and 3 tenths. I mean, it's as easy as that. We'll throw this thing on there. It's supposed to be 30 million sold. Take it to 12 right now. All right, so we're at 12 right on. Mm -hmm. We're showing two tenths over. That could be a one tenth over. All right, we got. Two tenths and sixty millions over on this rod. But if we had a, no, I mean, we have a known size right here. You mm -hmm. can technically take that size and zero out this machine, mm -hmm. which means you could put this in here. It's gonna be real hard to get those up, the things that keep it up in the air, right? And make it a little easier. You could technically go like this. Set this at zero. Mm -hmm. Find your highest point, which is there. Just like that. And then you can move this down to meet your zero. Okay. And then you could use this machine to more of an accurate spot. So you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You run that thing down right to there. Yep. Now you got your 20 million accuracy back because you use this as an own size standard. I mean, I don't know if you would want to, being it's a sphere or radius surface, but mm -hmm. if you had something that was flat, it would probably be a little bit mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. But you could technically do exactly what I just did and then use this machine now to, to read out another set. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to have standards in order to check something that you're wanting to measure. I mean, because back here you got like 50 million accuracy based on the spacing of the lines. And that's mm -hmm. it. Then you got that accuracy there or something. You know? Technically that's how you're supposed to use this machine if you're gonna use it. Okay. You know. If you were just gonna use the machines as it's set up with the lines and everything else, you really couldn't read out that far with absolute certainty. I mean, you gotta have some type of uncertainty in there and that's where the accuracy is comes into play. Gotcha. Other than that. Is there anything else that you need to, to know about or 